your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Thursday morning started out to yet another chilly morning out there. We will continue to see a few passing clouds and dry conditions. Thames along the Grand Strand should be up a few degrees compared to yesterday because we will see a little more sunshine in some of those clouds that were lingering right along the coastline yesterday afternoon. Just a few passing clouds and not a drop of rain in the forecast for today. We'll make it up to around 80 degrees down along the Grand Strand, about 82 for Conway, Florence, Darlington, Marion and Bennettsville. Very close to what you saw yesterday afternoon with a little breeze east northeast around 10 miles an hour. We'll continue to see the temperatures drop through the overnight hours once that sun sets to the middle and upper 50s inland, more so the upper 50s though. So up a few degrees from what you woke up to early this morning. And that'll be the case even along the Grand Strand as we stay closer to the lower end of the 60s. Nonetheless, comfortable but still a little on the cool side. If you're planning on heading up to NC State in Raleigh to go check out the Clemson NC State game, the kickoff at 730. Be aware that it'll be warmer once the game starts, certainly than once it comes to an end. We'll be dropping down to the mid and low 60s by the time we get through the second half and into the end of the game. And that's all thanks to high pressure to our north still funneling in some of that cooler air. Overall, a pleasant afternoon with those lower end 80s for your highs and low humidity. By Friday to Saturday, that high is drifting off to the east, creating more of a southerly flow for the area, which means warmer conditions. The humidity will come up more so. And that's what's going to be noticeable. With an increased humidity, then by Sunday to Monday, an approaching cold front will be coming in to increase the tropical moisture across the southeast, which means an increased chance for rain. We'll talk about that in a second. But look at these temperatures, mid to low 80s for the inland areas, right around, if not just above average for Friday and Saturday for the inland areas, and teetering around those average highs, even for the beaches, with a low to mid 80s for highs to start off your upcoming weekend. But rain chances are ramping up for Sunday. Could see a good soaking at times with some scattered rain and thunderstorms. Certainly some much needed rain in the forecast. Unfortunately, it does fall on the weekend. It looks like Saturday will at least be our drier day of the weekend with a chance of rain lingering even into Monday. As we said yesterday, we're still keeping an eye on this wave moving from the Yucatan now into the Bay of Campeche, potentially becoming Jerry as it strengthens a little bit over the warm waters in toward the Gulf of Mexico. But the forecast models have it lingering around the Bay and Gulf of Mexico through the beginning of next week. Some models try to take a little tiny piece of moisture off of this and head it up along that front. That's what's part of the reason why we're increasing our rain chances for Sunday. But in itself, the disturbance, the main area of low pressure, as well as if it is becoming Jerry, potentially heading over towards Mexico or even into Texas, where they also need some rain. Our seven day forecast, best chance for rain Sunday to Monday. We'll also begin fall on Sunday. As we head toward the beginning of fall, though, temperatures back on the rise toward those seasonal averages around 80 today. Mid to low 60s for the wake up temps for the next few mornings. Afternoon highs in the low to mid 80s through Saturday and then Sunday through the middle of next week. We're back to the lower end of the 80s as we dry out Monday, Tuesday and into Wednesday where we see a little more sunshine. Inland areas, you're going to be seeing high around 86 degrees on Friday and Saturday with a few more clouds. Sunday again, the chance for rain increasing out there for us with fall beginning that approaching cold front, putting us back to the lower end of the 80s, heading into the beginning and middle of next week. Wake up temps will finally get out of those 50s and return to the 60s for Saturday morning, Sunday morning and Monday morning. We're looking at mid 60s for wake up temps over the weekend before dropping back to the low 60s for wake ups for the middle of next week with highs in the low 80s. So have yourself a fantastic Thursday. Enjoy the beautiful weather out there. Your latest news, weather and tropical updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.